Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make Peppa Pig on a single loom. So that will be much nicer than using a great big double loom. It's going to be a bit fiddly but I think you'll be fine uh, following along with me. Um, some of the things that you're going to need are googly eyes. Um, I'm using googly eyes with the uh, sew on googly eyes but you can also get the googly eyes that are adhesive and stick them onto a uh, a button, um, a flat top button, or uh, beads for eyes if you like. Um, these are just the particular ones that I'm using. Um, we're going to be doing some funky things with our loom, taking it apart and, and putting it back together again. So it's a good idea to have your uh, rainbow loom uh, removal you know, hook because it has the removal device on the end of it. Um, we're going to do the snout and loom the snout separately and then put it on to our main figure. So when we actually have our configuration, it's going to be in an offset configuration with columns one and three lower than column two. But the way we want to do it is we want to have room between these two blue connectors to put our third connector what we're going to do is use the back of our rainbow loom hook and undo that blue connector and we're going to put it up the top here so that we have a spare row there and then to start with we're going to take this row off and move it over here so that it is exactly the same height as column one. So we've moved column three over to be in front of column one. All right. And we're going to loom our nose, our snout on that first. The colors that you're going to need are a light pink for her skin tone. I actually got mine from Target. They're a DIY brand, a red for her dress, yellow for her Wellington boots, and a darker pink for her cheeks and her uh, lips. So Double banding means you take two bands of the same and you place them on the on the pegs as if they were a single band. And we're going to start by putting them up here. And this is to loom her snout. and all will become revealed soon. <laughs> okay. As I said, we're double banding. If you have bands that are a bit sort of twisted, just move your hook around the inside of the bands and they sort of form the right shape. A crossover band is a single band and we're just going to place that there between these two pegs. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is put an end cap on this peg, the one, two, third peg down in the middle here. Take a single band, wrap it around your fingers at least three times. So that's there. Now we're going to put a layer on these ones here. So take another two pink bands and put one layer here, like that. Okay. Alright, now we're going to loom the snout bit first. So go under the end cap here and pick up the two bands that are horizontal and we're going to loom them across. Okay, We're going to dig down past these bands to find the two top bands which are our top layer. Okay, And we will loom them up and then dig down past these to find the next two top bands for this, there we go, and loom up. 
I'm going to take this off the loom. Now we're just going to gently lift it to the side like that. Okay, so this this top layer is now on the side, which leaves us the bottom layer to loom. So dig down past your crossover bands and find the bottom two pink bands and we will loom up. Find the bottom two bands here and loom up. And then we're going to loom these two down here, the horizontal bands, across. Okay, we're now going to take this portion off the loom, leave these ones on, but this one comes off. Don't worry about this crossover band, we're going to make use of that as it goes across the whole thing. Now we can take this row, this column, I'm sorry, off the loom, we'll remove this peg connector and I, I put it nice and tight Ooh, there we go take that off the loom we're going to put that back where it belongs down here okay and then making sure that our uh, column peg column is in the right direction we're going to place it back on its connector with the open side of the peg facing us. Now we're going to place the bands for the rest of the head. So up the top here we'll do two and then we're going to have four pink bands, pairs, because we're still double banding. One, two, three, and four, and then three down here, one, two, three, I'm going to put pink bands either side here, one, ah, now take this one out, sorry, let's put two darker pink there for her cheeks, okay? always forget that one. I don't know why. Then we'll use these two here like that. Okay. Now we're going to do another layer here to make the back side of her face a little fatter. So another two on that one and another two on top of the darker pink. Okay. Now this crossover band that's sort of just lying there we're going to stretch over in the shape of a triangle like that. We're going to put another one across here in the shape of a triangle and a third one here in the shape of a triangle. We're going to put some ears up here. Now a nice quick way to do ears, go to the bottom of your loom and take a single band, stretch it, figure eight, loop it on itself and put it across those two pegs. Do the same for here and we're going to do one there as well. Now we're going to put an end cap on this one. Take a single band, wrap it round your fingers once and twice, place it here. Now we want this to be tight so I'm going to say go round again once Oops, I'm never very good at doing very tight end caps, but this one does, these do need to be tight. So that's actually gone around five times. I'm going to slip my hook under the, the tight end cap and pull the, the bottom two bands up and across to this peg here. Then I'm going to loom this one up and I'm going to take it off my loom. It's going to be placed on this peg here. You might have to stretch it because it's looped on itself. It's tight. Okay. Then go down and find those two bottom bands and loom up 
and we'll take it off our loom pretty it up a little bit by stretching it out and that's our first ear it's going to go up here on this top peg and we're going to do another one for this one so again let's go down to the bottom of our loom single band figure eight twisted on itself single band stretch it place it here single band stretch it place it here let's put our tight end cap on one and two three four and just do it however many you can dig down past the end cap and grab those bands loom it across to the side loom this one up take it off the pegs off the loom completely and we're moving it over to that peg there then we're going to pop our hook down and grab those two bottom bands and loom up and take that off our loom and we are very gently going to place that one up here on that peg and actually we will probably have to take this one off because we want to loom this layer so what I might do is take this one off and leave it on a holding hook just for the time being okay okay now we're ready to do her dress she's going to have a red dress and yellow Wellington boots so let's double band Oh, push that down. six so six down here one more here and the same on this side Now, we're going to do layers here to make her dress come out a bit, sort of like an A shape. So, grabbing more bands, red, skip this first, uh, these first two um, pegs here. We're going to go from peg two to three on the dress. With an extra two red bands. And the same on this side, push your bands down if you need to. Going to put some crossover bands on stretching a single band make a triangle all the way down to here now at this point you're going to take this bit of the band here that sort of looks a bit lonely and just pop it up over that last peg there 
Now we're going to do her boots. Take three yellow bands for these and they go on these last two pegs either side. Again three because Wellington boots are a thick sort of gumpy looking boot aren't they? You do realise that by the end of doing these tutorials with me you'll, you'll be speaking in a British accent too don't you? <laughs> All right three bands on the end of your hook I put once and twice. We're going to slide that onto three bands. I try and lift and slide so that I don't get um, so that it doesn't get too gnarly and, and uh, tangled. So slide the rest of your bands onto your hook and we'll place that on the end of her leg here. We're going to do the same for the other side three bands, put your hook th through it and go round once and twice. We're going to get another three bands and lift and slide them onto that like that. Okay and we're going to put that one obviously on her other leg there. Now she needs some arms and they're going to go here on her shoulders and we're going to use our light pink and they are a bit fiddly. You're going to take a single band, put your hook through it and wrap it once, twice, three times so you've got four loops on your band. Then you're going to take a single band and stretch it out, figure eight, loop it on itself and we're going to slide that on like that and reclaim the end of our band. We're going to do this three times. Slide it on, wrap it once, twice, three times, single band and slide it on. These are making her fingers. Single band, once, twice, three times, single band, stretch it out, figure eight, loop it on itself, and slide on. Now she has these sort of spindly thin arms so rather than just using a band or two bands and sliding all these on I'm going to use a single band and again I'm going to figure eight it and this makes it smaller and tighter. So we're going to move these fingers onto this band, reclaim the end of your band like that and that's kind of how her hand is going to be. Now we need to do five more of these. Loop it on itself and slide on, reclaim. That's number two. number three, number four, and number five. Okay, so they're going to be her spindly little arms and we're going to put one on this shoulder and then we're going to do the same on the other shoulder. So grab some more pink bands. Remember what we do? One, two, three. Figure eight. Slide on. That's finger number one. One, two, three. Figure eight. Slide on, reclaim your bands. That's finger number two. One, two, three. Figure eight. And there's finger number three. Take a single band, stretch it into a figure eight, and we'll slide these on. Okay. 
Oh, come on, little band. No band should be left behind. Reclaim the end of your bands. And now we've got to do five more. That was number one. Oh, dearie me. I'm being very fumble fingers today. This is going to be like knitting. <laughs> Two. Now, if you have a second loom, it's easy enough to do these on that. Two, three. Four. And our lucky last. going to put that on this shoulder. Like that. I haven't forgotten I've got the ear over here, don't worry. So now we're going to start looming. So come down here to the Wellington boots and make your hook not work. <laughs> Loom those up. Remember we've got three bands there so it's quite tight. Same on this side three bands. There we go. Now we're onto her dress. Push that crossover band out the way and we just want the top two bands. We've got layers here, remember? So we're just going to layer the top layer first. Crossover band out the way, two bands. And again. And again. And one more time up to there. Let's do this side. Push the crossover band out the way. Grab the two bands and loom up. Now that we've done that, we're going to take this layer off and leave it to the right hand side of the loom. So just push your hook between layers one and two and we're gently going to ease that off the loom, leaving the crossover bands in their correct position. So we'll leave, this has to stay there and the top one stays here. Turn your loom around, let's do the same. So hold on to the yellow one take this off but again leave that crossover band where it's supposed to be take this off off and off and leave that where it's supposed to be let's turn around again now we're going to push this crossover band out the way there's a crossover band there grab the two bottom bands and loom up we can loom up to the arms. Make sure you push the crossover band out the way though. Loom up the middle here. Again, push that crossover band out the way and grab those two bottom bands. Now we're going to loom the shoulders in, dig down past the arms and grab the two bottom red bands and loom them, whoopsie, come here little hand, to the neck. And on the other side, 
loom to the neck. Make sure the arms are kind of pointed downwards. Loom the chest to the neck. And now we're at the face. So push your hook down. My band is on the left hand side, the top two pink bands. I'm going to loom them to the corresponding peg and I'm going to move my hook around the outside of that peg to loosen things up. I'm now going to do the same on the other side. Grab those two bands and loom them to the side and I'm going to loom these two up to the middle. Now we have layers here. This first one is not a layer so grab the two bottom bands and loom up to that first layer. Push the crossover band out the way. I'm going to use my smaller hook. Crossover band out the way and grab those two top light pink bands and again two top bands and then we're going to take this off so put your hook between layer one and two take it off the loom and pull it to the right hand side like that leaving the crossover bands in the right spot okay you can then take this darker pink and loom up now we need to put our ear on here let's loom this one up first so it's there now we're going to put our ear on ear ear let's be avenue that's my very bad impersonation of a british police man <laughs> okay so the ear is going to be there we're going to dig down and find these bottom two pink light pink bands and we're going to wiggle that across to this side here okay now we're going to loom this side of the face dig down to the bottom two and we'll loom up dig down to the bottom two and loom up bottom two and loom up now we'll do the middle We're going to take these two side ones from the bottom and loom across here. And then this is our last one to loom. Loom it up and to the middle peg. I'm going to take two light pink bands, push our hook down this middle peg. Sorry, let me show you this middle peg here. Poke it down the middle and we want it out the side here between the two ears. Grab your two bands and pull through like that. Reclaim the end of your bands and take the two closest to you up, over and off and pull tight. You want that slip knot to happen between the two ears otherwise it distorts if you do it this side. So pull nice and tight we're ready to take her off the loom. I use the back of a hook to gently ease the bands off. Gently pull her into shape. Okay, now these two, some people like to attach it to a keychain, um, and that's fine. If you don't, you can just gently move them down the back here and hide them behind some of these other bands and that's what I tend to do for some of them um, others my kiddo likes to put them on her backpack 
and take them to school with her. Okay. Now for her mouth and her eyes. We do her googly eyes. I'm going to take a googly eye on my thumb, <laughs> my metal threader. Um, I make one out of a twisty tie and I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel how to make one. Very, very easy. I use them all the time. Now I'm going to thread that through and attach that there. I can just see that this googly eye has no sew on option. So I'm going to go and find one that does. In every group there has to be a rebel. Okay, let's get another pale pink band and we'll hit the camera. We'll thread this on like that. What you're going to do, her eyes sort of sit on the front of her head like this together. So you're going to find the best spot, like my first eye, I probably want to be about here. So holding it in place, I'm going to use my hook and push it through the back of her head until it pops out the front. And then I'm going to pull one side of that band through. And I am going to use a clip just so that I'm not pulling the uh, the other end of the band back out again. So I'm going to find another spot in the back of it, go through the back of her head, grab the other end of that band and pull that through like that. And I'm going to put that over my clip like so. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same with the next one, making sure that they're not sort of completely on top of each other. My last one I didn't really do terribly well at all and she ended up having an eye on top of her eye. Now if you choose to do beads that's fine too. No, nope, I've lost the end of that. Well, that was clever of me. I've lost both ends. Okay. Let's be serious here for a minute, Kate. I'll put it on my clip. That's what the clip's there for, right? Gosh. I swear sometimes I'm a few sandwiches short of a picnic. There we go, I'll put her eye on there and I will attach that end of the band to the clip and for her mouth I'm going to take a single band and cut it. I'm going to poke my hook again through her face, putting my hook around about halfway. I'm going to keep hold of one end and pull the other so that it goes to the back of her head like that. I'm then going to line it up how I want it, hit the camera again. I'm going to find a band here and loop it through on the side of her head like that and I'm going to tie this in a knot at the back of her head there we go I'm going to trim those so they don't flip through to the front now I'm going to just tidy up 
I have a band here that's sort of protruding a bit and I think that's probably because of how I've done the, the mouth but that's okay, we just pretty that up and we have Peppa Pig I would love to see how yours turn out um, and let me let me know your feedback. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye bye.